What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to draw and color Stay Puffed from the Ghostbusters. Let's begin by drawing the cheeks on top of the eyes. We're gonna start over on the left side. We're gonna start with a curve that goes up and then back down on the inside. Now you can leave a large gap and draw the same thing on the right. So let's line this up, curve this up and then down. Now let's layer two large ovals in behind the cheeks. On the left side, we're gonna step in, curve the eye going all the way around towards the top of the eye. Round this out, come down towards the cheek. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going around towards the top, towards the same height. Round out the eye, come down and in. Now we're also gonna layer the pupils in behind the cheeks. Starting from the inside of the eye, draw a circle going all the way around and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Add two small circles in the center of the pupils. And I'll fill the outside in black. Now we're going to move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Directly underneath the left eye, curve the mouth coming down and up towards the right. And we'll add a bracket on the corners of the mouth. Let's draw the bottom of the mouth. Starting back over on the left, curve down the middle, and then pull that up. And we'll add the tongue along the bottom. Curve up and then down. And we'll fill the inside of the mouth in black. Let's add the edge of the lower lip. Starting back on the left, come down underneath the mouth and up. Now I'm going to step down and draw a larger curve for the chin. Come down the middle and then back up. Now let's draw the lower edge of the head. On the left side of the chin, we're going to step down, go out, and bend that up. Now I'm going to round out the side of the cheek and go up towards the top of the head. So let's start on the left. Rounding this out, going up, and bending that in, go across towards the right, bring this down, and then round out the cheek. Now I want to tilt the hat over towards the left side. So start from the left side of the head, start with a straight line going up and out, come in, draw another straight angled line, connect the top with a curve. Let's connect the bottom of the hat with a large oval, starting on the left, going out, and then up towards the top, and round out the hat, come in, and just pull that out towards the bottom of the hat. Let's add the tassel on the left side. Start with a curve going out, and then down. Now you want to add two points, going up with a straight angle line, coming back down towards the side, and we'll follow that same curve going up and in towards the side of the hat. Now that we complete the head, let's move down to draw in the bib. We're going to start underneath the cheek on the left side, curve this out and then down. Go all the way over towards the right, curve in the opposite direction towards the same height. Now we're going to connect the bottom with a curve that goes up in the middle and then back down. Let's add that thick stripe along the outside of the bib. On the left, let's step in, follow that same curve, coming down, go across the bottom, over towards the right, and we'll pull that back up and in. Let's do that one more time. Stepping in, leave an even space gap all the way around. Now we're going to tuck the body in underneath the bib. On the bottom left corner, we're going to step in, curve the body going out and down, and we'll pull this in towards the center of the page. Now we're going to pull the right leg forward. So let's start with the top edge of the leg, starting down here, curve this up, and bend that out. And we'll curve the body going out and up underneath the bib, leaving a little overlap on the outside. 
Now there's three layers to the legs. So let's start with the top, starting from the center. Clear this around and in. Go to the hip, go in the opposite direction, and then in. Connect the bottom with a curve, going up and then out. Let's round out the second layer, starting from the bottom, go down and out, in the opposite direction, and then again, we'll connect the ends with another curve. Now from here we can see the bottom edge of the foot. Let's start from this point, curve the heel coming around, and then out, go all the way out towards the outside, and then pull that back in towards the leg. Let's add a fold along the front edge of the foot, curving up and out. Let's draw the top section of the left leg. We'll start by lining this up over on the left side, curve this out, come all the way down, and just pull that up in the middle. Now the second section is going to be slightly smaller. Stepping in, go all the way around towards the bottom, and just pull that back up. From the inside of the leg, curve the foot going in and then down towards the heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the foot, coming down and then up. Let's close off the top of the foot, starting from the outside, going up and back in. Now we're going to move back up and layer the arms along the side. Let's we'll start from the left side of the body. We're going to start with an oval for the thumb, going up and down and then back up on the inside. Let's line this up on the right. Coming down, up, and then in. And now we're gonna add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the outside of the thumb. Start by curving out and then down. Round out the finger, going up. Round out the top of the finger, and then back down towards the thumb. Let's take that finger and flip it over on the right. Starting from the outside of the thumb. Round out the finger. Going up and then back down. Let's layer in a second finger. Start from the top, going up, down, and then back up. And we'll add one smaller finger on the outside. Going up, down, and in. Now from the top of the last finger, we're going to curve the wrist, going up and then back down toward the inside of the thumb. Now we're going to separate the arms into two sections. Let's start from the outside of the hand, curve this up and then bend that in. Let's line this up on the right, going out and then down. And then from the top of the forearm, curve the arm going up and back in toward the base of the head. Now you want to go back and separate the center of each finger. Starting from the outside, curve up and then down. And we'll do the same thing to each of the fingers and the thumb. Now I'm going to layer the scarf underneath the center of the bib. Let's start right in the middle with a half circle, coming down and then up. And then from the side of that half circle, come down and out. And I'll bend that back down towards the tip. Let's go to the top of that half circle, curve this out and back in towards that tip. And we'll add a fold along the inside with a small Curve. Let's draw the edge of the scarf in behind the knot. On the left, curve this out and up underneath the bib. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Stay Puffed. Now let's grab some markers and I'll show you how to color this in. Let's begin with this bright red and fill in that ribbon. Fill in the inside of the tongue and then the scarf. Now with our bright blue, we'll fill the base of the hat and then the bib working around that stripe. Now we're going to add some shadows using a cool gray. Let's start with the bottom edge of the hat, starting with the outside. I'm just going to trace the shadow going all the way around.
towards the right. And then we'll fill in the shadow. Is that a light shadow on the outside of the eyes? as well as the inside of the arm. I'm just going to add a thin shadow to the fingers and the thumb. And just underneath the bib and the scarf. I'm just going to add a thick shadow underneath the body towards the right leg. And we'll carry that shadow over towards the right side. Now I'm going to add a curved shadow to the inside of each section of the legs. And we'll bring that shadow across the bottom of the right foot. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color Stay Puffed. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.